Hey, and I'm live. Hello, ladies. How are we? How are we? We are back. I'm just going to get everything up and running here somewhere. Refresh. Right, there we go. Open sesame. Oh, good oh, there's no one watching, but that's okay at the moment. How are we all? How is our morning going? Welcome to Natalie May Scrapbooking. Just going to give it a minute to see if anybody's going to tune on in. Who's watching? Hello, Karen Campbell. How are you, friends? How are you? Whoops. Yes, you just tripped a cord. Oh, sorry. That's right. um, I, today, as part of our Black Friday specials, our online show event, I've got a few things to talk about this morning. How exciting. We, I'm going to do a quick little art journal page in a moment using some Lindy's game, which is used, you can, as you can see, I've got all lined up on the side here. And I'm going to talk about a couple of other little things. First of all, so Friday, Friday only, we've got some fabulous specials up and running. Good morning, Cherry. Good morning, Tony. Good morning, Karen. Good morning to everybody watching. So today being Friday the 24th of November, we have got um, three of our one day only specials. So what that means is for today only at the checkout, you can get 15% off of stencils. Now this does exclude the Natalie May scrapbooking brand, um, which as most of you know, we don't discount very often. Uh, we are gonna do 15% off paper today. So paper collections. We are talking Minte, Paper Rose, 13 Arts, AB Studios, Carter Bella, Echo Park, Three Quarter Designs, 49 and Market, Art by Marlene, Stamperia, Simple Stories, the list goes on and on and on. We have got 15% off of Lindy's gang products. So magical sprays, embossing powders, all of those cool things. Anything Christmas related except for kits. Not kits. Um, they are 15% off. Vicky, Brut Vicky Bougen products are also 15% off. So this includes everything except for her new collection, which we've only got a few items left off. The Natalie May scrapbooking collage paper. 90% of our collage paper. We're going to do that for you at 16% off. Like seriously, bargains. Scrap effects have got some fantastic mystery bundles. Uh, for 20 bucks, only $20, and we've got a great clearance section. Something else I want to quickly talk to you about is our no judgment postage that we are offering to you again. This is the perfect opportunity for you to add to your cart if you want to. Now, just to give you a little bit of an indication, postage is not free and it is not $2. Postage is $11.95. That is our flat rate postage. So what this means for you guys is when you get to your cart and you are processing your cart and your items, first and foremost, thank you for your order. But secondly, if you can just take a second to have a look and make sure that it's going through at $11.95 postage, if this is your first order for the day. If you want to add to your order this afternoon, then you select no judgment postage. But I need to make sure everybody understands postage is not free. Uh, there is, you can add no judgment later on. Just take a second, guys, and check that your postage is eleven ninety five. Okay, let's get into it. I thought I would do an art journal page today using Lindy's Gang Magicals. So Lindy's Gang Magicals, most of you know, I have worked with Lindy's for numerous years. Um, I'm going to say nearly maybe 10 years now, very possibly. Lindy's Gang Magicals are a pigment dye-based powder. So the pigment means that they're full of colour. 
you've all heard me say this a million times, the dye means that it has a fantastic permanency to it and the powder means that we need to activate it to get the magic to happen. So the set that I thought I might use today is called Mountain Meadows. These are flat magicals with no shimmer in them at all. So I love this. So I'm going to use this set, but I'm also going to use some of the new tea and crumpets items as well. Let's get started. So Wild Rose Rouge is the first colour. And as you can see, when you open the pot, it doesn't look anything like what you think it's going to. So I'm going to use my Nouveau Spoon. We sell these online in our tools section. And I'm going to put a small amount into there. So that is probably a little bit more than I should have put in, but that's okay. Foxglove Fuchsia is the next colour that I'm putting in. Mountain Meadow Green. This is lovely. So I'm going to do a really bright, punchy page, I think, maybe. Evergreen Emerald. And finally, Stormy Sky. All right, so there's our powder. So on nataliemay.com.au in our tools section, you will find this handy little Nuvo spoon. You'll also find these six well paint palettes. They're available as well as pipettes. So these are some important things that come in handy when you're playing with Lindy's. So just off screen, I have got a bowl of fancy Adelaide water. And in my pipette, I'm just going to suck up some water and then I'm going to activate these colours. So you can see what's happening here. So the powder is activating it. So I'm just going to take a pipette and just drip some colour into the top here and you can see that those colours are, are coming to life straight away. I do just drip it in because it does kind of go everywhere if you squirt the water in willy-nilly. Willy it goes a bit pear-shaped. We don't want that to happen. I'm actually feeling it might need a bit of yellow as well. I think that I need a yellow. Hold that thought. And this one here is called, it is what it is, yellow. This is from the set that I designed, especially for Lindy's, from the Words of Wisdom set. And again, it's a flat coloured Lindy's, so it has no shimmer to it. I'm going to add some shimmer later, I think. Radio. There we go. So first thing I want to do, so this is the Mountain Meadows set with the addition of a yellow. Very first thing we need to do is swatch our colours. We need to have a look and see how punchy these colours are. A couple of things we're going to, are coming in handy here. I've got some paper towel just off screen. And my water is just off screen. So when I use my paintbrush to swatch my colours, I give it a little stir. You can see that I'm giving it a little mix around there. And then I'm going to swatch it to make sure that, you know, and see what I'm working with. Have a look at the intensity of the colour. Is it nice and rich? Is this what I want? So with Lindy's, you have the ability to be able to create the colour that you want. So if you think, you know what, this is way too bright, that's okay. You can just add more water to it and water it down a bit and then you uh, create something that is going to be a lot lighter. So these are the colours. So you can see that I'm stirring each one as I go and swatching them. Right, and that one. All right, so I've got some gorgeous colours there that I'm going to work with for my art journal page. 
Right. Oh, sorry, you can't see that blue. Let me just... There we go. So a couple of things to remember when you're working with anything water-based. Um, the, the surface that you work on is going to play a massive part. So I'm working on just a plain cardstock here, and it's quite porous. The water's still sitting on top just a little bit, but it's soaking in pretty quickly. So I need to ensure that my uh, that I, I work confidently and I work quickly, all right? So this is really, really important. So I'm just going to zoom out a little so I can get my journal. Maybe. No. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to do an art journal page. So I'm just going to get these guys out of the way so that I don't make a terrible, terribly huge mess. Even more than normal. Get that out of the way and I get that out of the way. So Lindy's have a permanency to them. So a permanency means that they are going to stain our surface. Okay, so it also means it's going to stain your hands if you decide that you want to dip your hands in it. If you're wearing a white shirt like I am today, I'm going to ensure that I don't lean over the table and dip my boobs in it. But what I'm also doing is I'm putting a couple of pieces of paper towel underneath my work surface so I don't get too much bleed through. Uh, and I'm going to do something today where the colour's going to run off a little bit and I probably should have put an apron on, but that's okay. I didn't. Now, my background here, I have prepped with gesso. So what I have done is I have used gesso to completely... to completely cover, and I used a generous coat of gesso, cover my art journal page. And I did this because, like I said before, your page is porous and it's gonna soak up the color, right? So coating it with gesso adds a bit of a sealer to our page. Perfect. Now, you can see some little marks on here. The other thing that I have done off camera is I have used my new Dots and Dashes stencil, the Natalie May scrapbooking stencil, and I have used some gesso really thickly over this area to create some texture. I didn't have any texture paste handy, so the next best thing is I'm going to use some heavy gesso, and it has left a really lovely mark on there. I don't know if you can see there's a little bit of texture. There's a few more marks. Hello, Kasha. Thank you for my coffee. Oh, okay. <laughs> my coffee machine died yesterday. First world problems. So we're having to do coffee runs down to the OTR. It's the big issues. Um, all right. So the journal page is covered in gesso and I have created some texture. Let's get into it. Let's create a bit of a, a, a pretty background. The brush that I'm going to use is a juicy big brush. This is an Art by Marlene brush. This is the new watercolour brushes that she has, uh, she has available. A couple of other things I have handy. I have a water spray bottle and I have a heat tool and I am going to put my apron on actually. because this is problematic and I didn't think this through. Good morning to everyone watching. Hello Tegan, good morning Leanne. Just a short little interlude while I pop my apron on. Kasha, yes. could you turn the radio off please? Thanks. All right. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, Maggie. All right, apron on. That's better. Okie dokie. So here's my journal page. That bit's still wet. 
but you know, we're just going to forget about that. Um, water spray handy, tick. Fresh water handy, tick. Some paper towel handy, tick. I've got my Lindy's here. I'm good to go. All right, let's just get this done, right? And I've got my colour swatch just off screen so I know what I'm working with. Very, very important. I'm kind of thinking I want my background to be in these three colours, maybe with a touch of yellow. So I'm going to start with yellow. And I'm going to go in quite light. I'm just going to puddle it on. Now, a couple of other things that are handy to have, like I said, are, the, are your water sprays. So having a water spray handy, and I'm going in with a left-handed here, what's going to happen is it's going to spread out the colour, and that's what I want. So I want to take that down there. Perfect. Down there. Down there, down there. So I'm building up a bit of a colour and then I'm just going to heat set that so that it's got a nice little yellow sort of background to it, all right? So this is going to be a bit of a process of getting a heat tool on and drying it off, setting it, letting it run, adding the next colour, building up and going from there, all right? She's a process, this one. Next colour, I'm going to get some green on and we're going to get some green down here. And I'm going in quite puddled, quite, quite juicy and liquidy. I really, you know, that's not a word, I know. But what I like is that I have the ability to puddle, puddle and build. And I'm going in quite loose. Now, I've created a bit of a line here. Hate that. Spray it. And it diffuses. And then I've got something I like, so I'm just going to heat set quickly. Got a bit of a puddle here. Still got a puddle up on this corner here. I can soak that up with my paper towel. I've got some white space here. I'm pretty good with white space. You know I love a little bit of white space. What's that colour? That one? That's the darker one, right. So while this is drying, I'm going to work down here. Ooh. And because I'm using colours that are all from the same colour family, it's okay to blend them together a little, okay? So it's okay to overlap your blues into your greens and into your yellows. Start making new colours. It's perfectly great to do that. I'm going to diffuse that a little. So adding more water not only spreads the magicals out, but it also tones my colour down a little bit as well. I'm just going to add some splatters now. And in a minute, I'm going to use that lovely dark colour that I've got to tone it, to tone it, or to add some depth to it, sorry. Um, Linda, I'll answer your question in a minute. I'm not coordinating myself very well. All right, so I'm going to get up here now with that colour that I just used. While I'm still got my heat tool directed down here, it's not going to burst into flames. I'm a grown-up. I can see it burning if I need to. Right up to my edge there. Splatter, splatter, splatter. And I love the way that the colour is now running around the page. Oh, this is working out so much better than I thought it was going to. Got a bit of a puddle going on here. Don't love that. So I can use my paper towel to soak up the puddle and dry it before it runs in there. Same thing going on here. Soak, dry, soak, dry. So drying away as I go. And this is just building a layer. 
Um, love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, Linda, the big issues. You asked me about, do I have two colours on my nails? Oh, I have three at the moment because I've got gesso. Can you see that? I have dots. I have circles. So I have a coral colour in the background with an orange on top. I'm one of those people that goes to my um, nail technician with a, a picture that I found on Instagram and said, here, do this. Without the gesso. All right, so I've still got my heat tool running. I'm going to go in now with my darkest colour. This is my, ooh, this is my darkest colour. And I'm really going to puddle that colour. So the cool thing is, is because I have used gesso in my background, okay, it's sitting on top of the gesso and not soaking in. And that's really, really, really important. Um, it's how you prep your page to get this look that you need, all right? Splattering, drying as I go. Don't leave your paintbrush under your heat tool or it will melt. Yes, I did go with nice nails, something a little bit bright and different for Vicky Burton when she went the workshops last weekend. Um, yeah, my hands and fingers are always covered in something. I've got a new nail girly and she has a little bit of a giggle every time I walk through the room now and show her something different. Oh, oh whoops, wrong colour. We want this one here. Down the bottom. Let's get this colour down the bottom now because it's all about balance. Balance, balance, balance. So I'm just going to spray it on or get it on, layer it. And you can see I'm using a decent amount of liquid. So important. A decent amount of liquid is going to get that colour on there. Making sure I don't get any brush strokes. Brush strokes make it look like you've tried too hard to do this. I feel a sneeze coming on. But if I puddle the colour like this, it gives a more effortless, organic feel. And I'm going to put my paintbrush down and dry this off now. And then I'm going to put it aside to air dry while I colour a couple of images. I'm having a little bit of an idea on what I would like to do on this page now that I've built my coloured background. You can see the difference of this little yellow through the middle, how important it was to lift it. If I didn't have this yellow, I think it would have been way too tonal. And I'm just going to give it a little tilt. Just watch where your drips are with your tilting. Oh, God, I'm having a hot flush now. And because I can't be bothered waiting for it to dry, I'm just going to scooch off some areas, scooch off some puddles. Scooch is not a word. And I'm going to sneeze. It's my stand online. So just chat amongst yourselves for a moment while I walk out of the room and sneeze and blow my nose. We can hear it. Nobody wants to hear me blow my nose. Sorry guys. It's not the best sound in the world is it? Okay, so I'm going to pop this aside and then I'm going to have a chat about what I am going to do next. So with, I've got a bit of an idea here. I've got these gorgeous stamps from Funky Fossil designed by Claire and I thought I might colour them. So I have, here's one I prepared earlier. Here's something I have stamped. So I just stamped them on some plain white cardstock. And I'm thinking I might colour their dresses in these two colours here. And then I'm going to add in another colour for their 
faces, etc. So these are funky fossil stamps, and this is a thankful stamp set. So if you will do a search on nataliemay.com.au for thankful, you will find this come up. So first thing I want to do, yep, in the right colour here, and I'm just going to get it in there, put it on there like I mean it. Um, I'm not concerned about perfection here. I like the idea of having some white in the background, uh, around the edges, sorry. So when I cut them out, or when I hand them to Kasha in a minute to cut them out, did Kasha hear that? Yes, she did. That's okay, I haven't finished colouring yet. You've still got a few minutes up your sleeve. Pop some scissors in your hand. Um, love that. Right, there we go. So that's kind of cool, that's work. And now I'm just going to grab that darker colour and puddle some depth so that it's got, you know, it's kind of got this two-tonal sort of effect to it. Is that even showing up on camera? Yes, it is. Good. Perfect, happy with that. Then I'm going to go in with this one. The whole girl can be this purple. Now, I'm not fluffing around here. I'm not working on watercolour paper. So I need to be quite confident in my strokes. Super important. Sorry, Lou. Can you talk? So I need to be quite confident in my strokes. I need to get in there and move it around before it soaks in. Because, like I said, this is just the paper that I use to make cards out of and not watercolour paper. If I had stamped this onto a gessoed paper, I would have had a lot more room to move. But I don't need to do that for just a couple of stamped images. Not necessary. Confidence is everything. Creating with confidence makes your project look effortless. You know, I, I bang on about, about, about that a fair bit because it's really important for you to create confidently. If you hesitate on something, quite often it shows. I like that. And I might do another one with this colour, but I'll go two-tone again. Juicy amount of liquid on there, and I'm getting in here and spreading it around before it soaks in. So as you can see, I'm concentrating so much I can't read any comments. A finer paintbrush would have been fantastic as well, but you know, apparently that's not how I roll on a Friday. Darker colour at the bottom, and I'm going to push that darker colour right up to that lovely line that I just did, that rouge. And the colour will dry, leaving the pigment on the page, the water colour, the water will evaporate. Soak in. Soak in. So you can mix magicals with just about anything. You can mix them with paint, you can mix them with hand sanitizer to make hand sanitizer to make kind of like an alcohol ink. You can mix them with texture paste to make your own coloured texture paste. There's so many really awesome things that you can do with magicals. So if you want them to have a permanency, like an absolute permanency to them. So this is a dye-based powder, right? That's been around for over 25 years. So if you decide, oh, I want it to be totally permanent, you can just use a workable, a workable uh, fixative over the top of it and it will, you know, a spray fixative and it will set perfectly. So I'm just adding in some tiny little spots of yellow here to give it a pop. And I'm not going right up to the edges because I don't want the purple to run into the yellow. And then I'm going to take some green. Onto here. 
and again I'm not going right to the edges not necessary nobody cares if you don't go right to the edges learn to learn to live with some imperfection and then I'm going to go in here I'm going to grab a little bit of orange a bit of a bit of pink with the yellow and I'm going to make a new color called corally orangey sort of color you know corally orange and that works for me okay let's talk about the hair and their skin I'm just going to pop the other Lindy's aside for a second so that I don't spill it and I'm going to use the new Lindy's All right, these are the, this is the new tea and crumpet set. So tea and crumpet set is a set of 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, that's correct. And this is the new set that has a different, uh, a different delivery method, okay? So these pots here are fantastic, and you saw how I loaded up my palette. With these ones here, you can do the same thing by taking the top off and loading up your palette. Or you can leave it and have it as a shaker. So it's got this little top here that you can cover the holes up. So I want I would like to do a skin tone. So I'm going for a Caucasian skin tone today, which is this one is called Pinkies Up Pink. Uh, and I'm going to choose a couple of colours for their hair. And uh, I'm going to try to find the, like, sage. The sage and the purple I'm going to go with. So I'm just going to give them a little shake up. So this one is called London Summer Sage. And I love this colour. So just tapping it into there. So you can purchase these individually or you can purchase them as a set. Conveniently for you, they are 15% off today only. All right. So there's some gorgeous colours in here. We've got, I might put some of this in as well, Crumpet Crumbs, which is a yellow, a very, very pale yellow. So I still need to activate these. Now I'm going to be acting, activating them with dirty water because, you know, that's what I've got handy. But that's all right. We'll just go with it. Activating them exactly the same way. And I'm going to swatch them so I know what I'm dealing with. And straight away you can see that they've got a little shimmer to them. Okay, let's give them a stir and have a little... Oh. Does anybody else's Siri decide they need to be in on everything? All right, so this lovely little yellow and I'll bring... <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Stop talking to me. Right, okay. So the yellow is super light and I'll bring it up to camera in a second to show you. There's my overly orange skin tone. There's my sage for the hair and the purple. Yep, yeah, perfect. All right, so what I need to do, these are the colours that I've chosen. I'm going to mix these two colours together because that's super orange and very not okay. Um, I'm going to lighten up that colour and I'm going to do their skin tone. So how do I do that? I'm going to mix here. Put it in the middle, grab that, put that in the middle, grab some more of that. I'm just going to mix my colours together until I find something that I'm happy with. And like I said, I am today going for a Caucasian skin tone because it's what I have in front of me. Um, you can adjust your skin tone accordingly with what makes you happy. I did recently have someone comment on YouTube um, that they were very disappointed that I was only doing Caucasian skin tones. Um, but as I said in the reply, you just got to do something that you are comfortable with and that is okay. All right, so it's super light, but it is there. 
All right, so as you saw, I didn't do anything fancy. I just mixed a couple of colors together. Now, I'm giving all these girls kind of like a gray hair. I'm going to start over here with this sage. Now, the sage does have a beautiful shimmer to it. All of these uh, of the little tea and crumpet sets have a shimmer. So I'm going to put the sage on. Oh, I like it. And then I'm just going to pop a little bit of purple on the ends and it will bleed up and add just a touch of something, something. This girl here will give her, I'll do the opposite, I'll give her a bit of a purple sort of style hair. But it won't look purple when it's finished, I hope. So in the meantime, my art journal page is drying off on the side and I will give it a final hit with a heat gun in a minute just to make sure that it's totally dry. And this one I'm just going to take a little bit, oops, just got into her hair, into her face, sorry. Just dabbing the colour in. Okay, now, I missed, I went in too close to the line and it's bleeding into her hairs, bleeding into her face. I know, first world problems. But I had to stop and soak that up quickly, so I'm just going to hit it with the heat tool to make sure that it does not bleed any further. And don't wash your drink in your coffee. Just saying. Oh, look, I've made it bleed into all of their faces. All right. Hey? They did the colour run. Not quite. It's where their hair colour. They didn't wait for their colour. They didn't wipe their foreheads while doing their at-home rinse. Good morning, Judith. Good morning, Heather. Hello, Leslie. All right. So they are just about ready to be cut out. Um, before I do that, though, I am going to add just a little shimmer to some of these by putting another colour over the top because I feel like they needed a punch. Right, and then we'll go and finish building our background for our page. Oh, nailing it. When you're ready, Kasha. Ooh, she says. She's excited. She's excited to cut something up. Okay, let's have a look at what we've done here. So here is our page. Nearly dry. Stick my hand in one little wet bit. So you can see how the colour has just kind of splattered beautifully. And I love this. I'm just going to grab a bulldog clip and clip that page because that's frustrating me. Okay. And apparently the bottom bit too. Get in there. Getting whole. Right, okay. So now we're flat. Okay, so someone's commented that they can't see me. Can anybody see me? Can you give me a thumbs up? I can see me. Okay, people can see me. Got some angry faces. Who's angry? Happy faces, sad faces, happy faces. 
Give me happy faces, people. Give me hearts. Give me love. There we go. Right. We don't want angry faces. Far out. There we go. Thanks for the love. Oh, look at you guys. Anyway, so back to me. What we're going to be doing, I'm going to be cutting out the girls and popping them here, okay? Uh, I also have a couple of other things. I want to add some stamping to the background. Uh, I have got here some, just some mark making stamps. I've got the Art by Marlene, te uh, what do we call that? Exclusive Textures Stamp Set. And I do like this one. It is very, very nice. Uh, I have a stamping block and some black archival ink here. So the black archival ink is going to be permanent, which is perfect. That's what we want. I don't want to overdo it on the stamping. Nobody needs to be overdoing it on the stamping. Uh, what we want to do is just add some beautiful little images on the side. So I'm going to start with this gorgeous little leaf. And I'm going to build a little plant up the side here. As you can see, look at that. And I'm going to do another one up here into my... Have I got another leaf? I do have another leaf. And I've kind of got a floating leaf, but I'm going to link it to there'll probably be a girl sitting here shortly over the top of that so there's one i do have another leaf here super little are you done already oh, no. oh you're a machine thanks kasha Keep that staff member. Staff member of the day. The morning. <laughs> Jeez, I can't say that too loud. Yeah, gold star. Gold star for All right. So building in some little leaves on the side here. Can't tell Louise I just said that. She's out there picking your orders, guys. All right. So cute little leafy here. Excellent. Now I want to be going with just some simple little marks, nothing too over the top and powerful. Uh, let's go with, do I want dots? I might go with this one. This is going to be a bit stronger, but I'm going to, I'm going to commit. So I've got some crosses, but the crosses are stamp first heavy close to the edge and then do a off stamp, as I call it, which is a secondary or third transfer, so it becomes almost grey. So I like the depth at the edge and then as I go into the middle, it'll get lighter. Kind of like that. I'll see if I can do a little zoom in. Little. Come on, technology. Oh, there we go. Just a little. Some down here for balance. Okay, just starting to build a little bit of interest in, in my background. This one's cute. Little circly dot things. So the reason why I've added in the leaves is because we've got leaves on our image of a girl. So that's really important to bring in some sort of organic texture somewhere. Um, I do love this long one here. I really like this. But I'm wondering if it's going to be too dark. I know. Okay, instead of going with black, sometimes you can go with a coloured ink. So I have a little pencil case here of all of my little distress, sorry, yeah, the, some of the distress archival colours and some Tim Holtz colours in archival. And I'm looking for maybe that one.
but mostly that one. So I can stamp in tonal colours as well. So I think that I want to stamp in green in Vivid Chartreuse. So these little mini inks come in a set of four. You will find them in the ink section on the website. Um, Rachel has asked the question, what is this stamp set? It is an Art by Marlene exclusive, ooh, exclusive textures, it's called. Uh, it's, it's actually been around for quite a few years and they re-released it, which is very exciting. So they obviously realised how awesome it was. So these tiny little green dots are going on. Oh, yeah. Okay, maybe one here. And I'm just using, um, so I'm, I'm stamping with a, and I'll bring it up to camera in a, in, the, in a moment and show you, but I am going to put the lightest colour on the background with off stamping, and then I am going to use Paradise Teal over the top as well in the same stamp, but... Oh, yeah. Okay. This is working. This is working good. So the dots are tying all the dots together. Need to move that out of the way because I need some here. Right. And knowing when to stop is important. Natalie, put the ink pad down. Put the stamp away. Right, done, tick. Uh, I feel the need for a few more little dots. These are kind of like little sea urchin -y star things, you know, technical term, and they need to be in black. Oh, I love that little stamp. Now, you'll notice that I'm kind of keeping my stamp, my stamping clustered, clustered in certain areas. I am not stamping through my middle. I'm trying to keep my clustering together so that all of the interest is together. Very, very important. If you just stamp willy-nilly all over the page, it's going to look unsettled and your eye's going to try and focus on too many things. So clustering it together kind of keeps it a little bit organised. Okay? And... One last stamp was going to be this little star stamp. Actually, no, it wasn't. It was going to be the butterflies. Um, in the Funky Fossil Thankful stamp, there's some butterflies. What I wanted to do was add a couple of coloured butterflies to my background. I'm going to go with the smallest one. And I'm going to do it in teal, in paradise teal. Oh, yes. Kasha, come and look at how cute this butterfly is. Stop what you're doing. This is super important. See how cute this butterfly is. Oh, shit. There's... Look how cute that little guy is. I like him. Kasha agrees. Okay. So, Kasha, here's a challenge for you. I need a title for my page. So, the girls are going to go here. I need some sort of awesome, big, bold word to go here. What have I got? Have I got thickers? Oh, I could probably drag out some thickers, couldn't I? I love a thicker on my page. Now I'm thinking I put the butterflies upside down. No, no, the antenna is at the front, and I might do a couple in black just in case, just for depth. So we do have a ton of thickers in our specials, uh, in our clearance section as well, guys. So don't forget to always have a look in our clearance section 
because we are updating it all of the time. Okay, so I've just gone a step too far, so I'm going to stop, put the stamp away, and I'm going to stick the girls down, and then I'm going to find a title, and I'm going to finish this page off. Um, glue, what you got? Ooh, I do have that. I, do have that. I feel like it. I feel like a. I feel like I cut those out yesterday. Here we go. I might use those. Good girl. Thank you. You are super helpful. Okay. I might line them all up equally. But I have to be aware that they're floating. I don't want too many floating people, right? Very important. So while I'm gluing these, um, we have got... 15% off of stencils today. We have got 15% off of paper. paper. <laughs> hey. um, we have got 15% off of Lindy's. So I have just shown you quite a few ways here how to use your Lindy's, which is really awesome. Uh, and then we've also got Christmas items on special. That's so easy to cut out. I love this stamp. She can sit a bit higher because I feel she's more important with her greenery. Right, while they are just adhering to the page, I'm going to grab my black normal everyday pen and just do a little bit of a border around it because my page has got black. I feel like it needs a border. And I love a loose, I love a loose line. I would have also liked it if my stenciling was dry in the background, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. And then putting a line around here also creates a little bit of a anchoring spot for some of your stamping to connect to. So if you've got, you know, these leaves here, which aren't really kind of connected to anything, so they're kind of running in the back of the girls here. Girl three. I'm a firm believer in things just have to be connected. There has to be a connection on your page. Oh, and her head's up. Heads up, heads up, heads up. All right, while this is drying, um, I just want to show you also quickly something very easy that you can do with Lindy's. Um, Lindy's, I've got this little puddle here of colour, right, left over. So if you happen to have some seam binding, you know how you can buy that crinkly ribbon that we sell by the meter? This is the beautiful pale pink colour, right? And it is seam binding dries all crinkly. You can dye this. I highly recommend doing this with gloves on. But you can dye your ribbon. So what I tend to do is put it in my tweezers, wrap it up nice and tight, and then I can drop it in my colour. And it soaks it all up. Did you see that? And I'm going to two-tone this like a boss. Look at that. Right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some paper towel and pop it on here. Fold it over. Pop that aside again. Right, heads are stuck. And now I'm just going to scrunch it up. Okay? This is a really, really cool trick. This is an easy, also, also an easy way to avoid getting all over your hands. Sometimes. Open, open. And I have now created some hot pink crinkle ribbon. So I can dry it like this and it's gonna dry nice and crinkly. Or you dry it and then run it through your hair straightener to straighten it out. Well, I do that anyway. That's okay. So now I've 
got this really lovely two-tone and it's dyed it's it's a dye so remember how I mentioned Lindy's is a dye this isn't going anywhere it is dyed dyed dead look at that so this is called seam binding if you do a search on our website s-e-a-m binding seam binding you can buy it by the meter you can buy it in white you can buy it in hot pink you can buy it in navy blue there's a few different colors that you can purchase it in um it is amazing it's, i mean the, put it this way and you can stamp on this stuff too but if I, even if i've got i've just picked up some of the hot the pale pink and that's just taken the color beautifully kasha will pop the um link in the comments a little later um, for the seam binding all right let's have a look at our title here i feel like i need numerous words so i'm going to go with this is our um, one of our new cuttable designs actually where are where are our other new designs here we go question oh perfect Questionable friendship quotes. Let's use some of these babies. Uh, actually, where's the other ones? We don't get... Okay. We'll go with this one here. So I'm just going to cut this up. We don't get smarter. As we get older. We just run out of stupid things to do. I love that Kash, you can just make that happen. Thanks, Kash. So I'm just going to trim these up. And we are, so we've got a phrase that runs all the way across our page. And I'm going to pop a little border around this and I'm going to foam dot this to the page because I feel like it needs to sit a little bit higher and be connected to each one of our thankful girls so that it grounds them a little bit. There's my sticky dot. Sticky dot days. All right, so pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Let me get my, while I'm doing this, I'm going to pop this into the camera. <coughs> Excuse me. So the special for today is stencils. One day only, 15% off. That ends tonight. We have got patterned paper. 15% off. We have got Lindy's products, which I have just showed you all the ways to use some Lindy's products on your art journal page. You can get 15% off of those. Excellent value for money. You get a, you can get a set of Lindy's. You can get Christmas items. Not not the kids, but lots of Christmas items. Anything Christmassy. Fifteen percent off. We have got Vicky Booten items. Fifteen percent off. Collage. Some of the collage papers are fifteen percent off. There's some fantastic bundles of scrap effects available as well so plenty of things online at natalie may scrapbooking now the other thing is is i have just released at a discounted price my art journal classes for 2024 you can buy a set of 12 in a bundle uh, at a discounted price so we look after you there too all right okay i'm really happy with that it's been an hour you must be sick of me waffling on let's bring this up to camera and let me show you what we have done. We have created an art journal page. We've laid down a base of gesso to 
seal the base of our large dilutions journal. We then used the Mountain Meadows Lindy's set. These are the flat magicals, they are not the shimmery. And we covered our background. We puddled it on and we splattered it onto our page. I stamped the Thankful Dolls from Funky Fossil onto some cardstock. That is this stamp here, Thankful by Art Journal Love from Funky Fossil. Stamped that on there and also used an Art by Marlene stamp called Exclusive Textures. Okay, we use that one as well. Uh, the and we use black ink as well as coloured ink on this page. So we use teal and green as well. Uh, we coloured our girls in with Lindy's. We used our questionable friendship quotes as our title. We don't get smarter as we get older. We we just run out of stupid things to do. I kind of summed up my life. But I really love that. The page has come up looking pretty good. I'm just going to take it out of camera and we'll do a little zoomy zoomy for you so it's a bit easier. So you can see all of that gorgeous detail. I will take a photo of this completed page. We will upload it to Facebook and I'll put the links in for the products that we used. I hope you all have a fantastic day wherever you are in the world and I look forward to chatting with you really soon. All of these products are available on nataliemay.com.au. Chat soon.